Greetings! This lesson here we're going to be talking about the Nashville numbering system. The Nashville numbering system is a system that was developed by musicians to communicate to other musicians what chord of the key they're playing in when playing within a key, okay? And it's all based on the major scale. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. We'll talk about the key of E since E is the top string on a standard tune guitar. Um, the way the the way to play the scale is to go whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Where a whole step is when you're skipping over a note, and a half step is when you're not skipping over a note. Again, so you're going to go from the root. You're going to go whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Now each one of these is going to be assigned a number: one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, one. The double dot is the octave. So the one is always going to be major. And that's going to represent the root of the key that you're in. So if somebody says, play the one, okay, that means the root of the key that you're in. We're going to go up a whole step to the to the two chord. Two chords are always minor. We're going to go up another whole step to G sharp minor, that would be the three. Threes and twos are always minors, whereas ones are always major. So one, two, three. Now you're going to go up a half step to the four, and we're going to make that a major. Four chords are always major. We're going to go up another whole step to the five. Fives are always major. So one, four, and five. One, four, fives are the major chords in a key. We're going to go up another whole step to C sharp minor. C sharp minor is the six in the key of E. Okay, you can also play that C sharp minor over here by doing this minor chord. And you can play this B over here or this B, and you're playing the five chord. Now the seven chord is kind of a weird chord. It's, a, it's what they call a minor seven flat five chord. If somebody calls it a diminished or a half diminished, that's kind of guitar slang. The technical term is going to be a minor seven flat five chord. Um, and this is kind of the, the easy way to play it. Um, there's other ways. There's various, there's multiple ways to play this chord. This chord here is probably the easiest way when you're, when you're playing in the key of E. Um, and it's not really used a whole lot in, in modern music. Um, it's a very versatile chord, though. If you learn it, you'll, you'll, you'll dig playing it. Minor 7 flat 5. And that is the 7 chord in the key of E. In this case here, it's a, it's a D sharp minor 7 flat 5. And that's going to resolve back into the root. And that's just a bar chord, E bar chord at the 7th fret on the A string. So I'm going to cycle through the chords, 1 through 8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or one. That's one octave. So, the Nashville numbering system is neat because you can play in any key, just shout out the number of the chord that you're in, and everybody should who, who is familiar with the Nashville numbering system will recognize and understand what chord you're playing. Alrighty, continuing on with the Nashville numbering system, we're going to switch keys now to the key of G. Okay, remember, the one chord is always major. The two chord, we're going to go up a whole step, which is A. And remember, remember, the two chord is always minor. So A minor is the two chord in the key of G. So one chord, two chord. We're going to go up a whole step to B. And again, the three chords in the key are always minor. So B minor is the three chord in the key of G. And then we're going to go up a half step to C. C major, four chords are always major. So C is the four chord in the key of G. Then we're going to go up another whole step to D. D is the five in the key of G. 
So I'm going to play chords 1 through 5 in the key of G. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. E minor is the 6th chord in the key of E. 6 chords are always minor. So you have three minor chords, the two chord, the three chord, and the six chord, and you have three majors, the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. That leaves the seven, which is F sharp in the key of G, and F sharp is a minor seven flat five chord. Now, it's like an A minor with an F sharp in the bass, that's kind of the way, to, the way you can think about it. This chord is not very common. A lot of times they'll just play the F sharp, which is the third of a D over a D. To play that. So, G is the root. One. A minor two. B minor three. C is four. D is five. E minor is six. F sharp minor 7 flat 5 is the 7 chord in the key of G. But in a lot of times they'll just put this note here, which is F sharp, in the bass over the 5 chord as kind of a, a substitution or a pseudo 7 chord, which is actually really just the 5 with the 3rd in the bass to make it sound like the 7 chord, which is kind of a guitar slang, so to speak, to resolve back into the root. So this is the 1. Walking it down to the six, down to the five, down to the four, to the three, to the two, to the one.